In the first round of the year's last golf major, Jordan Spieth couldn't make a putt until he absolutely had to. U.S. Open champ Brooks Koepka was troubled by the greens but still managed to break PAR. Jim Herman, who was a pro for one of Donald Trump's courses, briefly was the leader. But it was Thorbjörn Olsen, a very good Dane if not a great one, and Kevin Kisner who shared the lead. By the time this 99th PGA Championship comes to a close that would be Sunday, barring a thunderstorm or two one of the pros will be receiving the Wanamaker Trophy, but the winner most likely will be the course, Quail Hollow Club. While it may not be Augusta National, Quail Hollow was reconstructed before the tournament, some of the holes lengthened, and the greens replanted with a new version of Bermuda that given the number of three putts seemed more glass than grass. With some of the pin locations, these greens are the fastest I've ever played, Koepka said. You never felt the ball was ever going to stop. Unless it was in the bottom of the cup, where Koepka had it often enough Thursday, with five birdies, to shoot a three under PAR 68. It put him one shot behind Olsen and Kisner, who birdied 18 to tie. Also a shot back were Grayson Murray who grew up in Raleigh, a three-hour drive from Charlotte Gary Woodland, Chris Stroud, and DA points. Herman, Tony Fino, Patrick Reed, Bud Colley, Ricky Fowler, Brian Harmon, and Paul Casey were at 2 under 69. When Herman in April 2016 won the Shell Houston Open, his first victory in 106 starts, his former boss, Trump, then the Republican candidate, declared he would consider him for a cabinet post. Rory McIlroy isn't thinking of getting into politics, just the winner's circle, from which he's been absent in 2017, McIlroy shot 72, as did Spieth, 5 behind Olsen and Kisner.